Madam Scott Cattle for one minute. Thank you very much, Chair. I congratulate Commissioner Vestager on her courageous decision to demand that Apple pay the 13 billion euros it owes in tax. This action has done much to increase the EU's standing with European citizens, not just warm words or vague ambitions, but concrete action that will positively affect people's livelihoods. Across our continent, we see the revival of nationalism as people feel out of control in a globalizing world. But it is not other countries that threaten our ability to act, but the global corporations that grow ever more powerful. I welcome the decision of the Commission to work for Europe's citizens and to contain the power of corporations and ensure that they pay the taxes they owe. But we also need to be clear about who the recovered tax belongs to, because this is not just about Ireland and Apple. When any country arranges a sweetheart deal for a company, we all lose out. If we are to reverse the damaging cuts to public services and to invest in such vital issues as mitigating climate change, then we need to keep up the pressure for tax justice. Merci.